A beast. Oh, great. I love how the music just stops. And he can freaking... And again, he did beat the shit out of Robocop in the second movie. Which is actually my favorite. I, I like Robocop 1. Ah, oh, shit. Yes, he has got a very distinct pattern, I know. I could have killed him, but, you know, a little practice. I'm going to do the continues. Let's do this again. This is fun. I enjoyed that. So... With a little practice, I could defeat uh, Kane, so... No big worries here. I gotta be more careful, I gotta at least have a couple of lives for Kane. But I really like how you fight him, even though technically it wouldn't make sense, but... I mean, you know, maybe Skynet took the... you know, they found the robot, the, or the model of Kane, and they just made a robot version of him. So... It's cool that you fight him, it's really cool. Who cares about how it works out, and story-wise? It could be just a computer-controlled... Uh, robot version of him, so... But avoid that. Yo, yo. See, when he's climbing the ladder, he cannot move and shoot, which I find is fair. It does make sense. See, because he needs to shoot, you know, and he needs two arms to climb. Even the mighty Robocop needs two arms to climb. Yeah, No, I'm Robocop, so... You are under arrest, that's why I shoot you all. <laughs> I am Robocop. Freeze, creep. Freaking Robocop. Yeah, I, also the reason why I'm playing this is because... Also the coolest thing is if I just push up and I let it go, it will stay there. Until I shoot. Anyway, um... They, you know, they showed the first pictures of the Robocop remake and Robocop looks like a... He looks like he's not even wearing... Not even a cyborg, really. He just has this weird, almost looks like the uh, Nolanverse Batman armor uh, costume. I mean, it just just looks kind of flimsy, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah. He's just really big, so he's kind of hard to avoid. Oh, great, now I just have the little pea shooter here. Where the hell did I go? That was kind of, that was kind of weird. Just disappeared there for a second. Okay. Okay, but you see, that's kind of old school game physics. I just touch his head and I lose more life than actually being hit by the bullets. Which is bullshit.
Ah, oh, shit. Come on, it's not that hard. I'm. <sighs> hey, it is that hard. I don't know. Oh, come on. That's kind of weird. Ah, fuck! Oh, come on! Yeah, I guess the two continues. Let's try it again. Fuck it. And I'm getting the pattern now. I mean, it's not that hard, but it's just really big, and Robocop is big, and it's kind of hard to avoid everything. I'm not. The controls are pretty tight, but, you know. It's just hard with, you know, being a bigger character and a smaller one. Yeah, um, I don't like where the new Robocop is headed, it doesn't, I don't like it. I think it was unnecessary, I mean, the only thing that I would have liked to see Robocop related is a Robocop vs. Terminator movie, but with the original Robocop. Now, it doesn't have to be the original actor, because I'm not even sure if Peter Weller even acts anymore, but, or even the guys, the other people who played Robocop, but... You know, I did like the RoboCop guy who played in the TV special Prime Directives. I know it's not the best what RoboCop has to have offer, but I like how Prime Directives gave a new um, a new cyberpunk spin to the whole thing because technically RoboCop is cyberpunk, and it made it a little bit more cyberpunky, and it was a little bit cool. So. It was cool in its own way. It was its own thing, and you had an, literally an evil Robocop, which was a, a black Robocop.